بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم محمد سعيد with you physics teacher now we are going to answer model exam number three in the master book question number one in the opposite figure as you can see a ball is placed at the top of an inclined surface it can reach the ground by falling vertically from A to B from A to B or by sliding on the inclined surface from A to uh, E uh, there are two ways it can fall vertically from A to B directly or sliding um, on the inclined surface A, C, D and reach E to the ground by this way um, passing by points C and D if we neglect air resistance and friction then مديني uh, choices هنمشي uh, ورا uh, first choose the kinetic energy at point C and D is the same point C and D okay model exam number three number one A, B, C, D, and E. Okay. <coughs> now, now we're going to compare between kinetic energy at point C and D. Kinetic energy at point C and D. Kinetic energy at point C and kinetic energy at point D. Okay, we have learned before mechanical energy is constant value. Mechanical energy at point A equals mechanical energy at point C equals mechanical energy at point D equals E equals G. So, Mechanical energy at point C equals mechanical energy at point D. Mechanical energy equals summation of potential plus kinetic. So potential energy at point C plus kinetic energy at point C equals potential energy at point D plus kinetic energy at point D. Both height at uh, C and D are equal each one equals H2 so potential energy at point C equals potential energy at point D so we can cancel potential energy at point C with potential energy at point D so we conclude that kinetic energy at point C equals kinetic energy at point D so the first choice is uh, correct uh, the second choice the kinetic energy at point B and E kinetic energy at point B and kinetic energy at point E B and E. We have learned before that mechanical energy at point B equals mechanical energy at point E. Mechanical energy equals potential plus kinetic equals potential at point E plus kinetic energy at point E. Potential energy at point uh, B and E equals zero, so we can cancel them. So kinetic energy at point B equals kinetic energy at point E. So the second choice is correct. The third choice, the mechanical energy at points B and D is the same. B, sorry, B and D. We have learned before mechanical energy of the object is constant. Mechanical energy of the object at point A equals mechanical energy at point B, equals mechanical energy at point C, equals D, equals E. So we will choose uh, the last choice, all the previous. Okay, another question. Question number two. A body moves in circular uh, path. Number two. A body moves in uh, a circular uh, path. Uh, of radius R. Or under the effect of centripetal force, if c equals f, if its velocity increases to square root two uh, v, v two equals square root two v, and moves in the same circular path, yani r two equals r one, then the centripetal force, if c two equals what? Now we will compare between if c two and if c one, if c two. 
equals mv2 square over r2 and fc1 equals <coughs> mv1 square over or v over r fc2 equals m the same as v2 equals square root 2 v so we'll replace or substitute v2 by v1 square root 2 v all powers 2 over r1 which is uh, which equals r it doesn't change so fc2 equals m square root 2 power 2 equals 2 v square over r so 2 equals m v square over r fc1 so fc2 equals fc1 and fc1 equals f so fc2 equals 2 f so we'll choose the first first uh, choice 2 f okay another question question number three a body moves with velocity 2 meter per second we have a body moves with 2 meter per second uh, if a force of 8 newton there is a force equals 8 newton at this on it for 5 seconds time equals 5 seconds delta t equals 5 seconds in its direction of motion then the change in momentum change in momentum uh, of the body during its time uh, during this time is space we have learned before equal f equals delta b over delta t right so f equals 8 equals delta b over 5 so delta b change in momentum equals 8 times 5 equals 40 kilogram meter per second 40 kilogram meter per second c okay <coughs> Another question, number four. Uh, the centripetal force acting on a car moving in a circular path is initiated from the summation of horizontal component of friction force and vertical components of reaction force. No, because uh, the centripetal force initiated from friction force and a horizontal component of a reaction. Summation of horizontal components of friction force and reaction force. Yes, horizontal components, not vertical components. Uh, question number five. The opposite graph represents the change in both kinetic energy and potential energy of a body during its fall towards the ground. We have a body that falls towards the ground so the mechanical energy of the body equals mechanical energy equals uh, summation of uh, potential plus kinetic which equals the maximum value mechanical energy is constant at uh, this line and this line equals what طيب احنا عندنا في مشكله في ناس بتقابلها مشكله في الموضوع ده احنا ممكن نحط هنا 0.1 we can say 0.10 0.20 30, 40, 60, 70, 80. So now each uh, line equals uh, 1. 0 0.01, 0 0.02. Or we can say uh, neglect 0. 0.1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So here 70, 71, 72, 73, 74, 75. So 0. 75. So we'll choose C, 0.75 joules. Okay, another question, number six. A satellite orbits a planet at height of 10 power 6 meter from the center of the planet. So planet and satellite orbits the planet at distance 10 power 6 from uh, the center of the planet. If this, the acceleration due to gravity G equals 4 meter per second square at this place then orbital velocity v equals what we have learned before the satellite orbits the planet under two forces gravitational force and centripetal force 
the satellite orbits the planet when gravitational force equals centripetal force. If G equals M, G at this place, and centripetal force equals M, A, C, M cancel with M. So to make the satellite revolve or orbits the planet at this place, the gravitational force at this place should equal should equals centripetal force. Okay, so G equals A C. So and A C equals what V square over R. Now we can say G which equals A C, which equals four equals V square over R. R equals ten bar six. So V square equals four multiply ten bar six. So V equals square root four multiply ten bar six equals two thousand meter per second. C. Okay, question number seven. If the kinetic energy of a car decreased to its quarter, Ke2 equals quarter Ke1, then its momentum Be2 equals what? Name the Belmanon Danny Ke2 equals quarter Ke1. Ke equals half mv. 2 square equals quarter times a half m v1 square half m cancel with half m so v square v2 square equals quarter v1 square square root of the two sides so v2 equals 1 over 2 v1 we can say that v1 equals 2 v2 be2 equals m v2 equals m times half v1 so b e2 equals half m v1 equals half b1 so so uh, b2 b2 equals half b1 which means decreases to its half number eight a body moves in a circular path with linear velocity 10 meter per second a body moves in circular path with velocity 10 meter per second then its average velocity v dash equals what during uh, the quarter of cycle when it covers quarter of cycle when it covers quarter cycle we have learned it before v dash equals displacement over time. Okay. Displacement equals from Pythagoras equals square root r square plus r square which means 2 r squared. So displacement equals square root r and t equals 1 over 4 periodic time. So substitute v equals 2 by r over periodic time. v equals 10. So 10 equals 2 by r over t so we can say that t equals 2 over 10 1 over 5 by r substitute v dash equals displacement over time equal displacement equals what square root r over time 1 over 4 periodic time so v dash equals square root r over 
1 over 4, which means 4 times uh, square root of 2, r over periodic time equals what? Periodic time equals 1 over 5 by r. r cancel with r. So v dash equals 5 times 4 equals 20 square root 2 over by 20 square root 2 equals 28.28 question number 9 <clears throat> the distance between two bodies uh, is r if the mass of one body is doubled we have two masses distance between them say r1 equals r m1 and m2 if the mass of one body is doubled, M1 as it is, and M2, in this case, equals to M2. So the distance between them has to be, so we need to calculate R2 space to make the attraction force between them decreases to its half. We are in attraction force in second case equals half. F1. بنبدا دايما بالمعلومة اللي مداني F2 in second, in second case equals half F1. F2 equals what? G capital M1 M2 over R square, right? Equals half. Sorry, in second case uh, M1 2 M2 2 M2 over R2 square. We need to calculate R, uh, R2. Uh, F1 G capital. In the first case, M1 M2 over R square. G capital cancel with G capital. M1 M2 cancel with M1 M2. 2 over R2 square equals 1 over 2 R square. So R2 square equals 4 R square. Square root of two sides, R2 equals to R1 in the first case. So R2 increases to uh, double to R. We will choose uh, D. Question number 10. <coughs> A body of weight 60 Newton has kinetic energy, number 10. Kinetic energy uh, 27 joules, its weight equals 60 newton its kinetic energy equals 27 uh, joules so uh, the momentum of the body is space b equals what only then g equals 10 meter per second square okay we name them and momentum momentum equals what mv mass we can calculate the mass m equals weight over gravitational acceleration weight equals 60 over 10 equals 6 kilogram we have and now we have the mass of the body now we want to calculate its velocity we have kinetic energy equals a half mv square kinetic energy 27 equals a half multiply m 6 v square so v square equals 2 multiply 27 over 6 Uh, which equals 9 so v equals square root 9 equals 3 meter per second so b equals mv mass equals 6 multiply v equals 3 equals 18 kilogram meter per second 18 b okay answer the following questions a boy holds a string with uh, an attached stone at its end and moves in horizontal plane as the direction shown with the arrow on the figure. If the boy releases the string suddenly when the stone is at x at this point, show with drawing the direction of motion of the stone at the instant of releasing. arrow tangent plus the direction of uh, motion at the moment of release. Okay.
question number 12 when you jump from a certain height to the ground واحد نط من ارتفاع الارض explain why you bend your knees لما بتنزل بتلاقي نفسك تنزل على ركبك كده Uh, why you bend your knees at the instant of touching the ground? Due to force of energy. As your body tries to keep its state of motion رجليك وقفت بس جسمك لسه محتفظ بحالته اللي هي انرجي تو ستيت تو كيب اتس ستيت اوف موشن اند ريزيست ذا تشينج اوكي كويستشن نمبر 13 تو ايدنتيكال بولز وير بروجيكتد فروم ا توب اوف بيلدينج One of them was projected vertically upward. في واحدة حدثنا لفوق vertical upward, and the other was projected vertically downward with the same angular velocity. Compare between their kinetic energies at the instant of colliding with ground. تعال تعال نفهم كده problem دي. Number thirteen, page forty-one. We have two balls, two identical balls. M one equals M two. The first one is projected downward while the other one is projected with the same velocity upward we need to calculate kinetic energy one and kinetic energy two to compare between them compare means ke1 over ke2 equals what type we have learned before mechanical energy at this point say a equals mechanical energy at point b طيب تعال نحسب كده ميكانيكال انرجي ات ذيس بوينت ميكانيكال انرجي ات بوينت A equals ميكانيكال انرجي ات بوينت B ميكانيكال انرجي ات بوينت B ات بوينت B equals طبعا ات بوينت A سوري B E ات A plus K E ات A equals B E ات B plus K E ات B At position B, potential energy equals zero, so it has only kinetic energy. So kinetic energy at point B, which equals kinetic energy one, which we want to calculate it, equals potential energy at this side. Say the height equals h, so m g h plus half m v i square. In the second case, k mechanical energy. For example, uh, C and D, mechanical energy at point C equals mechanical energy at point D. Mechanical energy at point C equals B E at C plus K E at point C equals mechanical energy at point B, B E at point D, which equals zero, plus K E at point D, which we uh, can say, uh, call it uh, K E two. So K E. E2 equals BE at this uh, position MG times the same height MGH plus KEC when we throw the ball upwards it moves with a velocity right so it has kinetic energy at this side and this kinetic energy is stored inside the object in the form of potential energy so we can see mechanical energy at this position which equals potential plus kinetic and kinetic energy at this position equals the half M multiply its velocity, which equals v i square. So k e one over k e two equals m g h plus half m v i square over m g h plus half m v i square. So they cancel with each other. So k e one over k e two equals one, which means k e one equals K E two. Another question number fourteen. Okay. Uh, the opposite the opposite uh, graph represents the relation between the force acting on a body and the displacement force and displacement. Okay. 
uh, moved by this uh, body due to the acting force بسبب الفورسز دي calculate the total work done by this force calculate the total work طيب هو ايه اللي بيروح بين الورك وبين اف والدي نمبر 14 work equals اف دي طيب اف ملتبلاي دي in this figure اف ملتبلاي دي equals area under the curve right so we can say that if we want to calculate the work under Uh, work in this case we you should calculate the area under the curve so work equals area under the curve so work or total work equals area of uh, rectangle of rectangle plus area of triangle <coughs> the uh, the minus uh, sign means for example a force acts upon an object then a force in the opposite direction acts upon this object so the total work we move this object from position a finally to position b So we should we should calculate the work done to move this object from position A to position B. Already we moved it from position A to position C, then from C to B. But we want to calculate the total work, which means the the network or resultant work. So work equals we said that work equals area under the curve. Force equals eighty uh, area of the rectangle. Uh, length times width length equals 5 times width equals 80 by 80 times 5 plus area of rectangle equals half base times height half multiply base from 5 to 10 10 minus 5 equals 5 multiply height negative 80 equals 400 minus 200 equals 200 Joules. So the total work to move the object from A finally to B, as we can move it from A to B, equals 200 joules. Question number 15. If the mass of the Earth is 81 times the mass of the Moon, m of the Earth equals 81 times m of Moon. And the distance between the center of the Earth and the center of the Moon is 60 re. Earth and the Moon, and this distance equals from this place to this place equals 60 re. Then at what distance from the center of the Moon? على بعد الدم center of the Moon is point x. The point x دمون كتبه هنا هنا في أي مكان صح؟ Where the resultant resultant of gravitational field محصلة يبقى إذا طالما قال لي resultant يبقى فيه two forces بقول لي gravitational هي gravitational هتيجي منين على point x أكيد من من moon and and earth so this point should be placed at a distance uh, between earth and uh, moon هو المطلوب calculate this distance at at which distance from center of the moon yeah, we want to calculate h the distance between point x or object x and center of the moon where the resultant force هو كان خد بالك بيقول لي the resultant force resultant force جاي منين في f1 between object and uh, earth and f2 between object and moon resultant force equals zero which means f1 equals f2 دي المعلومه اللي نبدا بيها ومديني ار اي طبعا equals 6378 كيلومتر radius of the earth طيب المعلومه اللي بيها f1 equals f2 gravitational force and gravitational force equals what g capital m earth times m of the object x over r distance between x and center of the earth which means 60 re minus h this distance equals what equals 60 the total distance 60 re minus h 60 re minus h all power 2 equals f2 between object x and the moon equals g capital m 
moon m x over distance between x and moon which equals h square g capital cancel with g capital m x cancel with m x and we can replace mass of the earth equals 81 mass of the moon mass of the earth 81 m moon over 60 r e minus h all power 2 equals 1 over uh, sorry uh, m moon over h square m moon cancel with m moon cross multiplication so 81 h square equals 60 r e minus h all power 2 square root for the two sides so square root for 81 equals 9 h equals 60 r e minus h so 9 h equals 60 r e minus h so 9 h plus h equals 10 h equals 60 r e so h equals 60 over 10 r e equals 6 r e so height equals 6 multiply r e 6 1378 equals we can calculate it six multiply six thousand three hundred seventy eight equals thirty eight thousand two hundred sixty eight kilometer okay another problem <clears throat> problem number 16 uh, calculate the mass Calculate the mass of the Earth. M Earth is required. If you know that the acceleration due to gravity at its surface, g at its surface equals 9.8 meter per second square. Universal gravitational constant g capital equals 6.67 times 10 to the power negative 11. And the radius of the Earth, r of the Earth equals 6.36 multiplied. 10 bar 6. Uh, we have learned that G equals what? <coughs> G capital M of the Earth over R E square because uh, G at the surface of the Earth. So we will replace G at this point. So we uh, put R E square. So G equals what? 9.8 equals 6.67 times 10 bar to the power negative 11 times mass of the earth which we wanted to calculate it over r square 6.63 times 10 to the power 6 all power 2 so mass of the earth equals what 9.8 multiply 6.36 times 10 to the power 6 all power 2 over 6.67 times 10 to the power negative 11 Mass of this is constant, approximately six times ten power twenty uh, six times ten power uh, twenty four kilogram. For the mass of this, it will be the same number. Nine point eight multiply six point thirty six multiply ten to the power six all power two over six point sixty seven times ten to the power negative eleven equals 5.8 mass of the earth equals 5. Point, uh, sorry 5.9 4 multiply 10 power 24 kilogram دي فعلا الماس بتاعت الارث لازم نفكر في الريزلت بعد ما نخلص البروبلم يعني نعرض الارقام على دماغنا يعني لازم تكون رقم منطقي uh, question number 17 بيقول لي a pallet penetrates a solid uh, wooden box and the solid wooden box and a pallet penetrate it if it loses half its velocity when it moves a distance 3 cm inside the box and it moves 3 cm and in the place that it was it was like say v we don't know how much it was and it came and it came half v at this place and it's still complete and it's still slow and it's still slow and it's still slow this distance equals what? 3 centimeters, 0.03 meters. Uh, 
Calculate the distance moved by the pallet from the instant of penetrating. يعني هو عايز distance من point of penetrating لغاية لما هتقف. For example هنا وقف تاني. يعني V هنا بكام؟ Vf equal zero. هو عايز ال DD equals what? Calculate the distance between uh, distance moved by the pallet from uh, the instant of penetrating till it stops. Uh, to calculate the distance, we uh, we should calculate the acceleration. احنا عندنا معلومة الأولانية عن v i equals v v f in this case uh, half v and displacement equals 0.3. عندنا v i v f d and we want to calculate acceleration. So we'll use third equation v f square equals v i square plus 2 a d. In the in this case, v f equals game 1 over 2 v or power 2 equals vi v square plus 2a times d 0.03 1 over 4 v square equals v square plus 0.06a v square uh, 1 over 4 v square minus v square 1 over 4 v square minus v square equals 0.06a يعني في ناس ممكن تتلخبط في الحته دي لو هناخد في سكوير فاكتور 1 over 4 minus 1 equals 0.06a so 1 over 4 minus 1 equals negative 3 over 4 v سكوير equals 0.06a ممكن نجيب a يبقى a equals negative 3 over 4 multiply 0.06 v سكوير which equals uh, the calculator now, three over four multiply zero point six equals twelve negative negative twelve point five v square. Now we uh, have a we will substitute a by uh, negative twelve point uh, five v square. Type. We want to calculate the displacement or the distance covered by the, the bullet to uh, until it, uh, it stops at this position. So V I equals V, V F equals zero. Using third equation also, V I V F V F square equals V I square plus two A D. Substitute V F equals zero. V I V square plus two multiply A. Multiply D. A equals what? Negative 12.5 v square. So 0 equals v square minus 2 multiply 12.5 equals 25 v square d. So <coughs> what the uh, negative 25 v square d in the hitana bil ma axel ishara by 25 v square d equals v square. V square cancel ma v square. 25 d equals 1. So D equals 1 over 25 equals 0 0.04 meter, which equals 4 centimeter. لازم برضو نفكر زي ما قلنا في ال في ال result يعني هنا من هنا هنا 3 centimeter ومن هنا هنا 4 centimeter. آه كلام منطقي بقى فعلا مش بعد ال بعد ال ال point D 1 centimeter زيادة يبقى لازم يكون الكلام يعني فش لاي مثلا D D 2 centimeters يعني دي 3 centimeters ودي تبقى 2 طبعا الكلام الرقم منطقي يبقى 4 سنتيمترز ثانك يو